If you wanna be able to quickly apply color, shadows, and highlights to make your illustrations jump out at you, stick around, cause I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that using Adobe Illustrator right now. Before we begin, I want to show you how I prepared my final sketch in advance. The dark lines are for my line art, the orange colored pencil is the highlights, and the blue is the shaded areas. Make sure the sketch layer is locked so we don't accidentally move it. Okay, so here's my final line work created with nothing but black strokes. First thing I'll do is duplicate my line art layer and rename it color. Then drag it below the line art layer and lock the line art layer. Now I'll drop my color palette right onto the artboard next to my line work. Now let's start coloring. I'm gonna select my line art, come up to Object, Live Paint, Make. I'll grab the Live Paint bucket over here. I'll hold down the Alt key, Option on a Mac, to quickly get my eyedropper tool. Select my first color, which is purple, and click inside the void. You'll see that it outlines the void with a red border to give you an indication of what area it's going to fill in. When I'm done with purple, I'll hold down Alt or Option on a Mac to get my eyedropper and select my next color, brown, for the wand. Then I'll just make my way around the entire drawing and fill in each and every void. Along the way, if you're not pleased with a particular color you chose, feel free to adjust it on the fly. Once you're done with live paint, the last thing you'll wanna do is come up here and hit expand. And your artwork is ready for highlights. Let's add a new layer and name it highlights. Now we'll hide the color layer and reveal the sketch layer. And here's where we use the orange colored parts of our sketch to help us build out the highlights. There's two tools you can use to do this. The first is with the blob brush, which has the shortcut of shift and B. Essentially, you just pick a color and put the paint wherever it needs to go. If you go outside the lines, then use the eraser tool, which is the shortcut Shift E, to trim the parts you don't want. Personally, I prefer to use the pen tool, especially if the artwork has a lot of detail to it. I won't get too much into how to use the pen tool in this video, but I'll put a link in the description if you want a full tutorial on the subject. You'll see that I'm not too careful where I place the points along the outside edges. As long as my shape is covered by the black lines, no one will ever see it. I'm doing some of these hair highlights using custom brushes. I'm sure there'll be a video in the near future about creating custom art brushes. I'll just speed the video up a little bit since this did take me a while to complete, but at least you can get a sense of how I'm using the pen tool here. After I finish up, I'll reveal the color layer. Then I'll select the entire highlight layer and change the color to white. Then change the transparency blending mode to overlay and reduce the opacity. Good. Now let's do the shadows. Once again, I'll hide the color layer, add a new layer above our highlight layer and name it shadows. This time we'll draw on top of the blue colored pencil. Again, using the pen tool, I'll go with green to help me build it. I'll speed up the video here through this part. Hey, you know, this would be a great time to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so I'm putting the final touches on Newt here. Now let's reveal the color layer. I'll select the shadows layer and change those green shadows to black. Set the blending mode to multiply and reduce the opacity. Okay, I really like this. Now let's hide every layer except the sketch and line art and add a fuzzy texture to his jacket. 
I'll create a new layer called Fuzz. I'll do all the dots with the blob brush. And then I'll make some hairs with the pen tool and duplicate them, placing them all over the jacket. That looks pretty good. Now let's hide the sketch layer and bring the other layers back. We'll add a background color and voila. So there it is, like building any other skill, this method is going to take a bit of practice. If you have specific questions as you're building out your illustrations, you can join me and other daydreamers in the Small Town Creative Facebook group and we'd love to help you out. You can find a link to that group in the description. If you wanna see other videos like this one, click subscribe. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button and I'll see you next time. Take care.